Good morning. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, let's get the coffee on. Ah, oh, yes. Good morning, everybody. How are we? I am so tired and I have no idea why. Let me just get my phone. Yeah, so it's 10 to 10. So I have a really good night's sleep. I did wake up at like seven for some reason. I do that a lot actually. I don't know whether any of you are the same. Like my body clock is like set to wake up at seven for some reason. I think maybe I woke up at seven like a week ago for some reason I had to go and do something. But then it just continues to go, whoop, I'm up at seven, even though like I'm so tired and I need an extra couple of hours. I know that waking up at 10 is so weird to some people that do like nine to five jobs and stuff, but obviously I work until 10, probably get home at about half 10. And I've just done a really buzzy adrenaline pumping job so i can't just go to sleep so 10 o'clock is pretty normal for me to wake up i'm in canterbury this week and it's one of my favorite cities to tour to actually because it's just so sweet all of the cobbled streets and everything i think i'm gonna go out into the town and do a couple of errands today i definitely need to go through my big suitcase which is at the theater and package up a few things to just send back to my parents house because there are a load of things that I'm just not going to use and it's just taken up weight in my suitcase and yesterday I went into the town and now they've started to sell a load of like lovely knitwear and stuff and I wasn't able to get anything that I really wanted because I couldn't fit it in my suitcase or my suitcase would be too heavy to go on the truck if I was to buy those things and every year I like to buy myself a couple of new jumpers and stuff just to top up my sort of winter wardrobe so I will definitely be buying those so I do really want to uh, empty my case out a little bit so I need to do that I need to package that up somehow and maybe take it to the post office today I have also got a couple of auditions through yesterday and I need to prep a lot for those um, I'll chat to you about that later also the panto audition that I went and did I got cut from, didn't get that one. Um, also didn't get the other job that I was auditioning for and I got recalls for, that was Hercules. So that would have been really nice, but that's okay. That was one of my first auditions back and so I was in no way expecting to get that. And it was nice to do a few rounds for it and you know, they clearly saw something in me. So that was nice. But these things just don't always work out and that's okay. But yeah, I didn't get Panto either. <laughs> that was a bit of a kick in the gut, but it's okay. The feedback was like, oh, we absolutely love Delicia and we would love to keep her in mind and take her details for next year. We just don't have a space for her. <sighs> I hate that feedback because I traveled seven hours. And you don't have a space. Maybe they meant that they had me in for the wrong character because it did feel a little bit wrong, I'm not going to lie. Maybe they'd filled all of the gaps where I could have been in for like Principal Girl or something because that is really my casting. So anyway, yeah, didn't get either of those but have got two new auditions through which I'm going to next week. What shall I have for breakfast? I'm thinking like eggs on toast. Maybe with some peri salt. That's been one of my favorite things at the moment. Either eggs on toast with pesto, like mixed into the eggs, and sriracha, iconic, or eggs on toast with peri salt. Mm. Sometimes perinés as well, is that weird? But yeah, we have to do simple breakfasts here on tour. I've gone off my yogurt now, I had it a little bit too much. <laughs> right, okay, let's get this show on the road. It's 10.40 and I haven't moved. <laughs> I fell into a little bit of a productive editing hole with my coffee. So actually, time has not been wasted. I have been working, but um, that wasn't the plan this morning. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I have been making these little like short versions of my YouTube videos and posting them on TikTok as like teasers and obviously I also get views on them in on TikTok. So it's a way of like using the same content for double income if that makes sense it takes me around about 15 minutes to make them um so just easy content to post on tiktok and i know that i have loads of people who follow me on tiktok that obviously don't watch my youtube videos so i'm trying to get them 
to come over to the dark side. I feel like YouTube is where the real ones are. Thanks, guys. Right, breakfast now, seriously. Get a wiggle on, Alicia. I did a little delivery at the start of the week, so I've got some food in. Look how big this sourdough is. I'm not sure that I actually need two slices of that, but one won't be enough, so I'm gonna have to just have two. Okay, let's get the eggs on. I've actually run out of pesto, so we can't have the pesto eggs. It's gonna have to be peri peri eggs. So I have a few bits and bobs of essentials that I take in my suitcase every single week from venue to venue, cooking wise. So number one is coffee, coffee granules. Um, sometimes I have the lovely Taylor's coffee bags and they're really nice and they're also a lot easier to transport than this. But the last time I went to get coffee, this is all they had. So coffee granules, definitely, because a lot of digs just don't have coffee. Spray, oil, this is much more easy to transport than an actual bottle of oil. Um, so we take this because digs don't have this either. I bring my honey for either if I'm having like porridge or yogurt and fruit, or sometimes I'll use it in my coffee. And also if I've got a bad voice, I'll literally shot it like that. <laughs> my Nando's Peri Peri Salt, obviously. I've got a couple of straws. I have um, a travel cutlery, which I keep at the theater. And the last thing, my Peronese. So it goes in my bag while I'm traveling and then I put it in the fridge as soon as we get to our destination. Also, my collapsible Tupperware, which you've all seen before. We're doing a little scrambled egg in the frying pan. My mum actually cooks scrambled egg in the microwave. Does anybody else do that? Because I think that is monstrous. Oh, my toast. The amount of egg here looks so sad, but it's literally because the sourdough is huge. Look how it's filling up this plate, and this is like a full-size plate. I've also got some orange juice, I think. Oh my god, welcome to Hotel Alicia. <sighs> okay, just got out of the shower. Um, I did actually wash my hair, but I can't be bothered to style it out, so I'm just gonna do a little, a little braid moment. So obviously you guys have probably seen me in a vlog with my full, like, Dutch braid moment which I've done since I was at college, honestly. But it is kind of like attention style and try to stay away from that as much as possible because obviously my hair is under so much tension during the show. I will just do this sort of loose French braid. All I'll do is I'll section like just above my ear here and that will be like my first grab of my French braid. And I'll just literally take only a few sections to get to the bottom of my ear. And this is just so quick and easy. Isn't it crazy how thin my hair is? Like when it's curly and it's out, it looks like it's so thick. But in reality, I've not actually got much hair at all. Um, it's just the curls that give it the volume, I guess. I'm now out of the house in the gorgeous Canterbury. Look, I'm literally walking through some like turrets it's like castle ruins i guess i don't know anyway i'm gonna go to the theater and try and sort out a little bag of stuff that can go back to my parents look it's so pretty my job's not too bad is it this is our theater this week there's jacasta who was rizzo last year on the poster for the panto i love this theater it's so nice just come into the theater i've got a couple of parcels one? I actually don't know what that is. It looks like it's from Carl to Unique, who are the guys that sent me the big bag of sweets when we were in Hull. Um, so I'm really excited about that. They didn't tell me that they were sending me anything, so that's nice. Let's open this together. This is so lovely, and I actually met them, and they were so nice. I think they watch my YouTube channel, and... So, hello, thank you so much for this. <gasps> Shut the front door! <laughs> oh my god, guys! Why am I, why am I not crying? Oh my god! Shut up! This is crazy! Look, they're little peering! With pom poms on. <laughs> I 
highlighting, they've got pom poms, they've got my face on one side. Oh my gosh, and Frenchie Fridays! Oh. oh my god, have they put anything inside if they sent me a card? Oh my god, I feel like crying, this is crazy! Dear Alicia, I hope you're well and tour life is being kind to you. I'm thoroughly enjoying watching Frenchie Fridays. It will be sad when the tour comes to an end. It has been so wonderful watching you and your lovely talented castmates having fun and sharing your tour life experiences. Oh, thank you so much! Bespoke Frenchie Fridays keyrings, just a little gesture with my compliments. Jonathan, thank you so much! It's on this lovely, like, I don't know what paper this is called, but it's like, or oh, almost like cardboard. It's lovely. It's all speckled. You can plant this paper. Be friendly flowers are waiting to bloom from the seeds embedded within this beautiful homemade paper. Here's me going, oh my gosh, I think it's cardboard. Look, there's all seeds in the paper and I can plant it. Thank you so much, Jonathan. This is incredible. What do I do with these? Shall I... Shall I give them to the company? Or maybe I could give them to fans. Let me know what you think I should do with them. Thank you so much, Jonathan. This is incredible. Okay, parcel number two is a little adapter because I bought these fancy schmancy Rode microphones and I'm struggling to get them to work with my phone. I don't know whether it was because of the leads that I was trying to use, but I've ordered an actual road lead now. If anybody has expertise on this, please let me know. These are my little microphones that I bought. So, they are the little road ones. This one's the transmitter. And then I have two little mics that go with it. So, you should, technically, just pair them together. Yeah, that's working. And then you should plug this into your phone and into the transmitter. And then you should just open your camera app and it should be working. But, so far, no luck. Let's give it a try. So I'm literally just on record. Oh my god, and I'm gonna do like TikToks like Hello, my name's Alicia. Get ready with me. <laughs> my name's Alicia, get ready with me. Ah, it's gonna be so good! Yay! So it was literally just that I needed the actual road wire. A little bit frustrating that that didn't come in the original package that I bought them in because they're not cheap. But um yeah, hopefully we'll get some elevated content with these. Really excited. Alright, so my suitcase. Ugh is living up the theatre this week, which is why I've had to come in, uh, because my space is very small at home. So I've definitely got a pair of trainers that need to go home. So the other week I treated myself to some Sambas. That means I do need to just send a pair home, so it's going to be my big, chunky, bulky Converse that I've just put in the Adidas box. So that's item number one. Honestly, I don't have that much in here, which is so stressful. Do you know what? I've got my trench coat in here, which I actually need to start using because it's Absolutely freezing! Thing is, I might be going on holiday and so I don't want to send all my summer stuff home. Ugh. We have the stuff in the tour box. Stuff that I just haven't used since the start. So let's just go through this. Taking up the most room are my heels. My stupid audition heels that I wear once in a blue moon but I have to keep them on tour with me. My nebulizer, I never use. Even when I'm ill, I just don't use it. I don't know why I'm keeping it on tour with me. I don't even have any saline solution, so that's going home. What else have I got in here? My fan, that can go now because we are in the winter. My Theragun can stay, my protein bars, I've been getting through them. I need all of this stuff. Oh, it's so annoying. That tin can go home. I don't even know what I bought that for. I just thought I could put something in it, but nothing has uh, found its way in there, so that can go. This is my summer picnic towel that I got from a charity shop. Um, that can go home because it is no longer this summer. Got this white, uh, what's this called? Waffle kind of light material cropped hoodie that can go home because it's too cold to wear it without a coat on top now so again summery ish active wear i just won't wear them now so they can go my electric nail file i now do my sassy saints nails and there is just no need for an electric nail file anymore um so 
yeah, that's going. I feel like I really haven't got rid of much, but those Converse are so heavy, so it's definitely worth blending back. Let's see how heavy this feels now. I can actually weigh it with my scales over there. But yeah, she's so light. That is fantastic. That's that job done. Let's try and put it in some sort of bags. There, my mum sells a lot on eBay and she normally uses like bin bags. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. Oh, okay, 10 years later, it feels like I did it. I don't know whether this is legal, but it's got about five bin bags on it. It'll work, surely. I just need to put my mum's address on it now. All right, parcel is done, it's labeled. I'm gonna walk to the post office and then I'm gonna have a little browse in some shops, I think, and I'll take you guys with me. I'm going to find some new knitwear. Just come into the post office and realise they sell box for literal pennies, so that was a bit silly doing that, wasn't it? Oh my god, that took such a long time. And now I've been spat out by the book. I really wanted to read this. The Family Upstairs, that's meant to be really good. Lisa Jewell, I've read one of her other books. I can't remember what it was called now. Oh, this is the one that I read. None of this is true. Very, very good. Need to read these ones for sure. Okay, we're in H&M. I'm really loving like the knitted woolly t-shirts at the minute. I mean, I don't necessarily like that one with stripes, but I'm looking for something like that, I think. It's a nice autumn-y piece. So I'm looking for something like that. And then I could just wear my little trench coat over the top. All of these like granny knitted cardigan things have come back into fashion, haven't they? I think they're quite cute, actually. I don't look good in grey, but let's try and find one in another colour for sure. No, we're really not enjoying h and I feel like it can be a hit or a miss. Like I can come out having spent hundreds of pounds in h and sometimes. And then others, I'm just like, what the hell is this? Who would wear that? All right, next stop is Zara. I like this, but I hate the buttons. They look really like cheap and horrible. <laughs> I wish they were gold. Love these skirts, really want a black one. The only trouble is, if you look at me in the mirror here, no, well, it's gonna be way too long. God damn, I swear they're meant to be like up here. So like you, uh, it's like a mid shin vibe. Yeah, for me, it would be giving Victorian era. It's just not giving. Like, what is that on their main mannequin? What the hell? Guys, we're gonna have to. I freaking love this shop. Got all of their Halloween stuff going. I'm actually on tour for Halloween this year. We'll have to do something for sure. Like, do I need this magic drawing board? No. Do I really want to pick it up? Yes. I feel like we'd have lots of fun with that in the show. Those bowls are cool, like coconut bowls. I don't have a house, sadly. Why is Flying Tiger playing musical theatre? What are you using that for? Sugar? I don't know, but so cute. I just want to buy it, even though I have no use. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I've got the new Rita Ora stuff. Hate that. <laughs> God, I just really am picky. That's quite nice. Although that's a small and it just looks huge. I quite like these gray suit trousers, but who wants to take a bet? They'll be too long. Yeah, they're just like, I would just have to get them altered. Um, also, they look massive on the legs. They're a size six. They look like Marshmallow Man. Do we hate this? I think I might quite like that. I'm just not sure. Some new Lash Glue, the duo, is really good. I like this. I know it's like granny style. Let's see if they got, yeah, they got an extra small. But with some jeans, I think that would be cute. Anybody who's wondering, these are my exact French pyjamas that I wear in the show at a reasonable price of £15. Little souvenir there from Primark. This wasn't meant to happen. I wasn't meant to spend this money. Do you know what? I'm gonna stop this Primark haul now because I know I'm gonna pick up much more and I will do a haul when I get back. Oh God, I'm gonna spend so much money. Oh my God. How have I done that? <laughs> oh no. I would so much rather buy knitwear from like Zara or H&M or somewhere that I know is gonna be good quality. But actually the quality in Primark has got so much better. I've just spent a hundred pound. God. 
But I do feel like I've got a good selection of stuff. So I'll give you a little haul later. Okay, I'm back at my digs. I can't believe I just did that, but I liked everything. I tried everything on and it was all scrummy. So I thought I, I must. I'm a bit annoyed at myself that I cleared out my suitcase to stop it being so heavy and then I've bought probably more. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It will be fine. Sorry, my uh, tumble dryer's just on, which is what you can hear just now. I am gonna warm myself up some leftover chicken pesto pasta because I'm absolutely starving. Okay, the most rapid fire Primark haul you've ever seen. Bam, this cardigan. Got it in an extra small, thought I could tuck it in. I think it's really cute, really casual. Slay. This was 13 pounds. Cardigan number two, 11 pounds. So stinking cute. Number three, ah! She's coming out. So cute! It's giving go back to school. This was £17. Thought really, really cute. Could even tuck in. So cute. This one was £13 from the Rita Aurora. It's giving granny chic. New little backpack. She's giving like fake leather. She's gonna get filthy, but she was £12. I needed a new backpack because I was carrying around my little turtle one for ages. So, um, She'll do. Then we got fluffy socks because I can't live without them in the winter. Big, thick, scrunchy for when I do my slick back buns. I think that will look so stinking cute. Footsies for my new trainers, my Sambas. Little hair clips to put back my hair when I do my makeup instead of using a bobby pin. Thought they were cute. My lash glue. And then finally, these Rita Aura flares. Should we try them on? Let's try them on. Excuse the absolute mess that I've just made. Oh! Oh! They're so nice. They are a bit long. Uh, but we can work with it when we've got a trainer on. Love! Yes, £100 is a lot of money and I could have really done with putting that in my savings. But I literally got like five jumpers and a backpack and God knows what else. So that's so worth it, isn't it? And such good value for actually being good quality for Primark, to be fair. So very happy with that. I've now got my pesto pasta with loads of cheese on and I am absolutely ravenous. Okay, I spent the last sort of like hour or something just rearranging my case, putting stuff to take to the theatre in this big bag. I love this big bag, but it shall be no more. Like, it's so ideal when I'm carrying around lots of stuff, but normally it's quite empty. And so I'm just gonna use my new backpack from now on for that. And I'm gonna keep this in my suitcase just in case I need it. But yeah, I've just been rearranging. Now, I need to sort out these auditions. So, I've got a panto one where they want two songs. It is for Aurora in obviously Sleeping Beauty. Well, it's not actually Aurora, it's Princess Rose because I don't think they can call her Aurora because of copyright or something. Uh, so I've got a script to do and what do they want? Two songs, panto style or pop. Okay. I'll do Walking on Sunshine because it's a bop, everyone loves it. And then panto style, maybe I do something a little bit more like classical princessy vibes. Maybe, yeah, maybe something musical theatre. We'll have a think about that. So then the other audition is a dance round. Honestly, next Friday is going to be crazy. Yeah, so I do that panto audition and then I go to my dance round. I'll probably vlog, to be fair. Uh, they want, oh, a dance combo and then a vocal recall. 16 bar cut and a couple of options of 90s meets contemporary pop musical theatre. What? No! 90s pop meets contemporary musical theatre. Okay. So 90s pop. In my rep, I have Hit Me Baby one more time, but everybody's gonna be singing that for sure. I'm gonna have to really have a think about that. I'll have to Google it now. And 90s meets contemporary pop musical theatre. Maybe I can just do like, my up-tempo contemporary, I don't know. I'm definitely not taking two 90s pop songs. 
90s pop songs are so rubbish because they don't show range. You think of 90s, you think like Spice Girls, and it's like, if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever, friendship never ends. It's not, you're not getting any range. So maybe I do something like that, and then I do a big belty musical theatre song. That makes most sense in my brain. Guys, this is hysterical. I think I'm gonna sing Man I Feel Like a Woman. <laughs> it's the only song that I feel like I can give a little bit of character, if anything, like, oh. Right, let's see if they've got the sheet music. So when I'm looking here, I'm going on music notes and we're looking to see if the piano part is just like plink, plonk, plink, which will sound absolutely awful. Or if it's got like left hand and right hand going on, hopefully it looks a little bit busy. So we'll have a look here. So it's kind of hard to tell here. So I played it and yes, it seems quite minimal, but I feel like that's just what it's gonna be like. That's what is in the instrumental anyway, if you see what I mean. I don't know whether you can only play the first page or look at the first page unless you buy it. So this is what it sounds like. Let's go girls. See what I mean? It is a bit minimal. Going out tonight, feeling alright. But I feel like that's all it is anyway, isn't it? It's like dun, 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 dun. Like there's nothing more that I can really ask of than that. God, I can't believe I'm singing that in an audition. That is crazy news. Good song though. I feel like that would be great, especially because they only want 16 bars. For anybody who is unfamiliar, 16 bars is around about 30 seconds of singing. Depends how quick or slow the song is. Um, but yeah, usually it's about 30 seconds. Hilarious. So I'm just gonna do the chorus, obviously. Maybe from the best thing about being a woman is the prerogative. <laughs> right, let's do that. So that song has just cost me £4.59. So I sorted out all of my sheet music, so that's fine. India's alive. Hello, Punchy Friday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, we're doing that thing today. We've got something extra to film, so when are you going in? I can come in soon for you, I'm kind of ready. So me and India have actually got a new game for you guys. We're gonna play tonight and I'm so excited! Anyway, I'm gonna go in now and start doing my makeup. Okay, it is half past four. Oh no, it's raining, I've just left my umbrella. Oh, that went in my eye. It's half past four and I'm leaving for work a little bit early. I think I want to do uh, a TikTok live today because I haven't done one in a little bit, so. That will be going down while I'm doing my makeup. Also, gonna play the little game with Indy, so that's exciting. Hey, Jaden just back. here on TikTok Live. Everyone, Jaden's here, and we're going to this audition that I was talking about next week together. Yeah, we actually are. We're actually that. in the same room. Same call. I'm gonna start laughing. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Well, that's anyway, that's very, very strange, but they have sent us a video of the choreographer. Uh, I think it's the associate, maybe. The associate doing the dance. Set routine. So, I guess we've got to learn it. Will they teach it what's in the room? No. Maybe we'll recap it or something. Okay. Jay and I just learnt that choreo. Cool, Super girl. simple, to be fair. Right. <laughs> well, Hi, missus. Well, well, well. We're going to play our game. Canterbury drag did. <laughs> Look what my chosen snack is. <laughs> Sweet and spicy. Would you like some? Yes. I've never nice. tried these before. Oh, thank you. They're lovely. Sorry. We've got a new game. It's kind of like Mrs. and Mrs. It's slightly different. I think this is actually better. We're the wrong way round. Oh, we? weird. Yeah, we're like Anton Deck. <sighs> so, there's a question, like, for example, our first question will be, what would be the worst audition you could get called in for? And I will be writing what I think India's answer is for India, and she'll be writing what my answer would be. So what would my worst audition be? And I'll be guessing India's. Yeah. So basically, we have to guess what each other's answer would be to a question. See, yeah, more. Okay, um, I have an answer, but I need to explain it. Yeah, I, I think I'm, a, I'm saying this because we've discussed it. Really, anyway, ready? Three, Three two, one. 
Phantom <laughs> for you because Soprano crazy opera. No, not doing it, sorry. <laughs> and Cats for me, and listen, I think Cats is crazy. Like, the people in Cats are amazing. But I actually feel like you could do a, a Demeter or... Um, it's more just the thought of doing a dance the show. The ball. Yeah, like, <laughs> like something that is so and like. Sick. And I love dance, but yeah, I just like you'd be good. You could give me a Yeah, but I said it because of the joker ball. I yeah, was thinking just the Victoria fear. the White Cat, really. Just the fear. <laughs> oh yeah, see that. It's more that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I probably would really enjoy. See yeah. me more. Okay. Um, did I get my, Did I get that see right? See me more. Yeah. Okay. I was. I can't. I, lame is Phantom. I'm not doing it. Sorry. Don't even audition me. <laughs> um, right. Favorite musical theatre soundtrack. I actually don't know yours, and I don't think you know mine. We're gonna guess based yeah. on personalities. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Okay. I've gone more mainstream. Okay, I've gone quite mainstream as well, but I've gone with like your energy and what I think. Oh yeah, she would just bop about to that. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What's yours? <gasps> okay! No. <laughs> oh. I, I went to see Bonnie and Clyde this year. Mm. Cass was amazing. Some great bangers, but not something I'd like to listen to in the car. Oh. Do you know what I was going to say? What? Rogue. Like, Talk Everlasting. Have you ever listened to that? Yeah, beautiful music in Talk Everlasting. Thoughts on that? Legally Blonde? I don't like musical theatre. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is why this question's kind of hard. Because I nerd out musical theatre on the weekends. My favourite musical is Memphis. Musical! Musical. <laughs> <gasps> oh, and I know that! It's Memphis, but I, I would know. never listen to it, though. I would never okay. listen to it. I, I wouldn't put it on. So I would have accepted several answers from you. All right, yeah. The Colour Purple is one of my favourite soundtracks of all have time. Have you watched the film? Uh, Sure. I cried like a little baby in the cinema watching that. It is beautiful. I saw it at the rest of the curve. Did you? It's beautiful. Mm. Um, love the colour purple. I love Dogfight. Oh, I know this is so rogue though. That's for me on the same wavelength as Bonnie and Clyde. I was trying to think actually Bonnie and Clyde and to. Dogfight, they feel like partners yeah, in my head. Yeah, I, I actually really, really hear that. Mm -hmm. I really hear that. There's, there's several that I would have accepted to be fair, but yeah. Okay. Okay. What's next? Which Disney princess would you be? <gasps> Yours is easy, in my opinion. I'm going to put two. Okay. Even though that's not allowed. Shall I put two as well? No, you don't have to. Yours is easy, I think. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! And so I read a book of I may have missed up. Let down your hand. Did I get that right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and do you know what? I always used to dress up as Belle when I was a kid. You um, are a cross of both of these. I think Belle and Meredith. Yeah, because Meredith's like, Mah! and yeah. Belle's like, Princess Princess. Yeah. Yeah. We did well there, I think. Both of us. If they were a dessert, what would they be? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's not what you like. It's no, it's not, what it's we would what be. Would you, but then isn't that subjective? Because we're, like, we're going to say different things, do you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see. Um, what would you be? Oh, yours is quite easy, I think. In you my may? opinion. I, I've got two in my head again, but I'm only putting one. Ready? Stick to your guns, babe. Three, two, one. <gasps> we might the same thing! Lemon Drizzy! <laughs> because I only put Lemon Drizzy as well, and that would have been really weird. I typed it and deleted it and then put this again. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> Really posh Victoria sponge with like Ooh. lots of no Phoebe's a Victoria sponge. Jam. Yeah, true. Phoebe's a true, raspberry true, Victoria true, sponge. True, true, true. Do you hear that, Phoebs? If you're a cake, you are like a raspberry posh Victoria sponge. Oh, okay. You are. Thank you. You're welcome. Desert Island makeup product. You can only take one. Deserted Island. What? Not Desert Island. Hey, yeah, Desert that's... Island. That's right. Don't doubt yourself, babe. Desert Island. Believe in yourself. Would it be Deserted Island? No, Desert Island. Fine. Anyway. Anywho. Uh, yeah, yeah, makeup product. Makeup product. <laughs> or, like, if you could only have one thing on your face. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. What's that? Ah! What is that? Brow glue. What do you mean, fake tan? Fake tan? Yeah, you You know when you look lovely brows. and you... Yeah, my pink honey brows are Is what you would take. Is I that would, right? Yeah, my pink honey yeah. brows. For sure. Actually, I didn't think fake tan, but yeah, because it makes you look like wearing makeup, so that's yeah. actually a good shout. And if you, you, if I see you wearing no makeup and you're wearing fake tan, I go, wow, you look amazing. You do. I would say Always. this would, would have been my answer. Really? My Elf Halo Glow. Because it's like a skincare product and a base okay. product in one. Fair enough. You get in the moisture. 
Thank you. If you only had fake tan, you'd probably get quite dry and scaly. Dry tween. Be like mm, a snake. I'd need some bum bum. CCD. CCD. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which Heather would you be? This couldn't be easier if it tried, and I know um, you know that. Do you want? Correct. Does she count as a Heather? Yeah, she becomes a Heather. You're a Heather Mac through and through. Yes, I knew. I'm You're a Heather young. Mac. I was going to say Chandler because of this hairstyle. I'm that one you're of the two, aren't I? But I don't think your personality is Chandler. No. You could do Chandler very well. Hmm. But but okay. in terms of what what are you what are you? Yeah. I feel like you're I'm more the of a I'm one. a cool girl. She's so cool. She's what everyone wants to be in the audience. Aww. <laughs> like Marty. Okay. What do you think is your best quality? So. Aww. So I'm I saying answer what, what you, you would say think about is your best quality. Okay, great. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. 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 I sure. would say that. Because it is one of your absolute best qualities. You're so funny. I, think you know I didn't know it was physical. Lovely. I was going. It could be physical. It could okay. be mental, psychological. Okay, okay. I do pride myself on my sense of humor. Yeah, I know you do. And you are hysterical. And look at those, those golf balls on her face. Oh, they're a bit. Bloody lovely. <laughs> what Where emoji you would you be? <laughs> you already know this one for me. You said the other day. Well, I, I really, I think it really resonates with you and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm really doubting myself now. I've got a couple for you. Well, there is a couple, but Can I've I... just picked one. We'll do round two. We'll do round two. Okay. We'll do round two. Okay. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll do a second one. A secondary emoji. Okay. <laughs> you're going to be like, what the hell? Am I? Yeah. You're going to be like, what are you doing? What do you mean? Okay, this is yours. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. I can just see you going, yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. I am a little cowgirl. You're a little cowgirl. And this is and you. And I'm the, the dance, dance. Dancing. Dance. Cause, also because the energy it gives us. Okay. Like, Whoa. Yeah, fine. Like if she could talk, she'd go, yeah. I'm going to do you a little collage. There's no rule. Oh, okay. This, if I was to describe you to someone else and they would say, can you just send me a message with no words of what Alicia's like? This is what it would be. Oh, let me do the same. <laughs> what? What's going on? Nothing, darling. Three, two, one. Oh, oh so not the devil. No, this is your little. Ah! Oh, yeah, fine, fine. So what have I got? I've got like. It says India. Yeah. You've got. We've both given each other fairies. Oh, sweet. Because we're we're free spirit. Yeah. This is when when you do wash day hair. Yeah. Peacocking. Peacocking. This is your um nice jumpers that you wear that's sweet yeah <laughs> this is your love for red yeah and this is your iced coffee that's really good Liz. thanks this is yours this one reminds me of tangled but also you are See, you yeah. are sunshine summer energy <laughs> fairy because free spirits as we both are this is your little tattoo on your back See, me this is just you and that i'm really jealous like me, because it? there isn't a brunette one of those there's not a brunette curly there's, there's a black hair one oh, which doesn't look like me damn. and then this is alicia when she's in her it's on me mode <laughs> oh that was cute mm. can i have one that was so fun thanks for joining us on this that week's no, episode really of enjoyed. unnamed game oh, shit. the unnamed game oh she's vlogging she's vlogging bring the camera she's on my phone oh no phone okay. tail
India's doing an ASOS order and she's ordered me a present. It's not a present because I paid for it, but. So, very good. There's one thing about me, it's that I'm oiled up for every show. Have you seen India's shiny legs? They're magnificent. They look so good. And I've actually nearly run out, so we're going to order. And now I've got some. Two of them. You can't really so see them. We can them. do glitter. We're going to do glitter legs. Glitter legs and glitter. If you know, you know. Something to think about that. I decided that I'm going to give my key rings out to people at stage door. By the time this video goes up, though, this is my they'll girlfriend. probably already be gone. But do keep checking my Instagram. Um, but I've done like a YouTube short announcing it, so hopefully everybody's aware and everybody so if knows. If you come see the show and you say at stage door I watch Frenchy Fridays, you're gonna get one of these like me. I should have said like a cool passcode or you have yeah, to do a dash move or something. No, you should have said, I don't know, yeah, like password is and then something silly. <laughs> password, password is. is... No! <laughs> doing a bit of week prep here. Um, I'm feeling crazy vibes today in the show. I think it's these key rings. I think they've set me off into a, a crazed spiral. <laughs> That's so weird. Why? I'm just should just I keep one myself? I'm one. I should keep <laughs> Simon. It's the fact that it's got my literal face on it. Mm. Oh gosh, thank you so much, Cards Unique. Legends. Right. Members of the Grease Company, this is your half hour call. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, performance. Dylan Gordon Joseph's track will be performed by Thomas Hitch. Oh yeah. This is your half hour call, you have 30 minutes, please. Dylan's been swung off. Dylan's swung off. Yeah, Dylan's swung off. I His heart's got family in. I thought Josie are. Josie. Josie. Oh, Josie. He's back. Oh, Frenchy Fries. Yay. Elf Town. Hello, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, they love Alfie on Frenchy Fridays. Somebody tell me why Marley looks like this. <laughs> look at him. Slipper boy. <laughs> why do you look like that? What's wrong with you? You're tired, boy. I just woke up. Why did you just wake up? To come into this freezing cold room. Guys, look at this. That's good. That Bobby made. What are you making a cardigan? I'm making a cardigan full of sunflowers. How pretty! I would buy this if I saw it in the shop. Really? Yeah, like a cardigan with all those on. I feel like I'm not going to finish it till after I'm tall though. I'm going to put really? Bobby's going to start selling them to compete with her. Absolutely not. I cannot compete with her. Can you catch me? Bob, they look great. We'll see. Look, that's so sweet. Oh, they look so good. Do you know what I think? Do you know what I think? It looks like I've killed him off. He's alive, you know, I swear. The jam Is he? Are you alive? Quit yeah. on the back. Yeah. That's crochet. Yeah. And I was like, so very I know that one. In I'm thinking of doing crochet now. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, let me see. She's going to be a crochet queen these days. Let me see. Let me find out this. No, I don't think we can do. I don't think I want to do the mushrooms. Shall I do the mushrooms? I know they're all flowing. If you want a grey square cardigan, then you could just do like flowers. Or yeah, we can do that. They're separate. Oh my god, do that one! They're separate. So you just make mushrooms and you make a jumper. Stop it! You could knit the jumper and crochet the mushrooms. Could you just sew them skilled Multi skilled Crochet, mushroom, cardigan. Oh, yes! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> with the frogs. Look at her with the frogs on. It's, you can so, if that. anybody watched my panto vlogs, you'll know about my love story with the cardigan with the toadstools on. I'm going to make one myself. <laughs> I'm inspired now. Challenge for the end of the tour. Blonde highlights um, coming out. Yeah, they Marty's really a natural blonde. Like Does anybody like... know that? Oh, yeah, apparently she is. Yeah, I think it was blonde hair. Look at that list. Not next door neighbour, but like close, close to Skating, yeah. blonder. I'm going to be a blonde Marty oh, by the the Grease Company, this is your quarter hour call. You have 15 minutes, please. Hello, Miss M. M. Rude. <laughs> Can I film oh. you brushing your teeth today? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a toothbrush with you? Mm. Oh no. I got no toothbrush. Have you got an electric toothbrush? No, ma'am. What's your toothbrush like? No, ma'am. 
Don't be difficult. Have you got a toothbrush you can bring in tomorrow? Of course I have, Is mate. Is it electric? No. Good. My assistant. I got Thanks. an electric one at home, though. <laughs> I don't want to thank you. I want to, because they wouldn't have had electric toothbrushes in the 1950s. I would. Jan would. Oh. I'm a scientist. Jan is a scientist. <laughs> Um, okay, no, we'll film that tomorrow. Out, you're out like Little social call there. Do you want a lemon protein bar? <laughs> yeah. I just went, ah, hey, oh. Worst thing no. I've ever had in my mouth. On my life, I'm reenacting what I just did. Oh, I've got about 70 lemon protein bars from my mum still. Who's Becky? Hi, we're about to start the show. Oh, are you excited? Yeah. Oh, you're so excited. Oh, you're so excited. Feeling crazy energy today, so good luck Sometimes with that. Sometimes we get shy French. Sometimes we get crazy French. Sometimes Today it's monster French. I did have a monster just before this, so and that means she's gonna be crazy. She actually does. And you're just professional as always, and just what you can know, I say, guys? Very consistent. I try. I yeah, try. Sometimes you are a bit silly. I am. You're sitting with me today. You smell like what is that? An alien? Zara. Hibiscus Zara. This is like ten pound. Slow. Yeah. Bye. Slow. Bye, Ron. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite day of the week. It's my favourite day of the week. Fries. I love Frenchy Fridays. <laughs> There's also Frenchy Fries yesterday I was filming, wasn't I? Frenchy Wednesdays. <laughs> Frenchy Wes. Hey, dude. What about Kevin Cryday? Hello, everyone. So I found, I found a mushroom granny square. Like a cream with a red mushroom and a little Cute. stem. Mm. Oh, that'll be so nice. And can I do with them so that some squares are plain? And then, so there's not as many. Oh, thank you. So excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some needles. That'll be really fun. We'll do that. And what you need to do is we need to sit and sort of pick out what colours you want. Because then we can organise how many squares you know. I can tell you how many you need. And you can, can tell me. How many... Yes. So we can work out and then we can yes, organise it so they sort yes, of won't have the same colours next to each other, sir. Okay, let's hope. Bye everyone. Let's go and get a toilet. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bye everyone. Alright, it's grease lightning and we're ready for the woods. One of my nails just pinged off, so I'm gonna go fix it in the dressing room while I've got this break. I feel like we're at the stage now where the show just sort of does its thing and nobody's really, um, I'm sorry, nobody's really like thinking about anything and it's just like sort of happening to us, if that makes sense. And um, obviously we're like focused and we're engaged in like our lives and everything like that, but it really is just so ingrained in us now that we really don't have to think about much at all. Okay, nail crisis has been averted. My earrings broke. My show earrings broke. Oh really? So I've got some little temporary ones in for the moment, and they're gonna get me some new big yeah. chunky ones. Oh yeah, nice. Look at your earrings. Ooh. I know they're all broke as well. They look oh. good on stage though. Yeah, look, I'm missing some beads, uh, but you can't. You can't it's see. It's very intricate work on your earrings. Mine's just a gold hoop. They're from Accessories. Oh hey. Yeah. I think mine are from La Vista. This is from La Vista. Is it? I don't know where my clips are from. Here's my clip. There you go. Probably Primark. <laughs> <laughs> my dog shut up. I showed my pyjamas when I went into Primark girl. today. Did you? Yeah. Pyjamas? Yeah, my pyjamas that were in the show, they're in Primark. Oh, <laughs> yes. And your um, striped top. This is from Zara. Marty, Marty wears Zara. Zara? Yeah, this is a Zara top. Gosh. And then my jacket is from... That's horrendous from Zara. I mean, my jacket. It's, like, it's nice in the show, but like I wouldn't imagine you wear this day to day. It is from Freddy's. Freddy's vintage shop. Freddy's, my love. There you go. <laughs> Trivia. Alicia's challenge of the day. It's very close to the stage this week. You've got to stand back to back. Do a wall sit. Yeah. Do a wall sit so your legs go nice. Do you want to show Sammy a thumb sweat? Yeah. We're going to have to push up a bit. Oh. And then you cross legs at the same time. Challenge of the day. You want to try, Key? Me and you? Yeah, yeah you guys did good. Yeah. Be good. Yeah, ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He's crossed his leg already. Oh, wait, let's help. Do it at the same time. Three, two, one. 
Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. They're still arguing. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to say you don't look bad. But I you, look, you look. Oh my god! Oh my terrible. god! No, because that—that's not why. That, I that was not a Freudian slip. Because yeah. you don't. I was about to say you don't look terrible. <laughs> but I just said she was terrible. What's a Freudian slip? So yeah. if you're like it's secretly thing. thinking something that was in, in your oh. subconscious. Oh, sorry, like, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Well, that's a Freudian <laughs> slip because Freud. You know Freud is. Sigmund Freud. Yes. Yeah. Well done, he made that. <laughs> well done, Lizzie. Sorry, you don't attack. I think so we're going to be bullying. No, I, I just got called bullying on camera. What were we thinking with the shrooms? Hi. Search the shrooms. Bobby, <laughs> you saying lines, shrooms? Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> what did you say about lines? He said something about knitting, wasn't it? And you oh, have to do yeah. lines. I'm not very good with lines. <laughs> And Liz just looked at me and I was like, no, don't come alive. This is what I want to do, Bobs. Look yes. at that. I reckon that'd be all right. Look at that. And I want to do, like, so it's not like every square is that, because I think that'll be a bit much like... to me. So I think I'll just do plain ones, and then I'll do them, like, dotted around. Yes. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, we're now in the interval. Our dressing rooms this week are pretty close, so it's very easy to just pop down. I'm going to chill for a bit. Charlie Eagles and members of the band to the pit, please. All Hello. technical crew to your positions, please. This is your act two beginners call. Thank you. Struggling. Doesn't Josh look like Joe from you? You! In your hat, you do. When he's wearing his hat. I can't win. And the black, you look like you're going on a stalking adventure. It's my, it's my Saturday evening plans we're in. <laughs> Can I show everyone this video of me scaring Hope? Yeah. Tell the whole news. Oh, I said, grow! Mm. Look at her, she's so angry. <laughs> she is so angry. Oh, oh jump scare. Mm. Oh, hello? <laughs> Hello. Hey, how do I sound? Hello. Am I right? done? Thank you, Josh. La -di -da -di -da. Joe. Hey, Joe you? Goldberg. Yes, yes, the dynamic duo. Yeah. The challenge winners. It's uh, Frenchy and Doody. Fuchi. Food, foodie. 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 Yeah, where did Fuji come from? Oh, just okay, fine. Watch this. Our elevator. Our elevator ready? Okay, what floor are you going to? Two, please. Ding! Slow elevator. <laughs> I'm trying to judge how slow you guys are going. <laughs> you were standing up, we were going down. Oh, sorry. My bad. Sorry. I'll do better next time. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, why couldn't you be in a big girl putting him on my own bender? Bender in here. Sarah was rubbish. Sarah. That could be my worst hand driver, Leslie. Oh my. Sarah, come here. What? Why did you throw me on the floor at the end there? I didn't throw you on the floor. Lies and slander, and it could be a lack of talent from me. <laughs> Basically, we do like a counterbalance at the end. And I just Sarah's. felt completely beyond my arse. Yeah. Can we say arse? Yeah. No. Oh. And I just flew onto the floor. I didn't get hurt, it's fine. It was actually quite funny. Oh gosh, it's the end, baby. Yeah. Um, so sorry, can you show your octopus dance? Oh, no, no, not yet. My octopus dance. Doesn't he look like the little octopus from Monsters Inc? Octopus guy. <laughs> um, sorry, animal fact, baby. I've not done this in a while. Oh, God. Did I do the lion tiger together yes. as a.
who remember when someone was at stage door who asked Give for an animal fact. fact and then I said seahorses and she was like you've already done that <laughs> and then I came out of nowhere okay. and then just went chickens originated in the Southeast Asian jungles before they were domesticated across the world they were originally from the Southeast Asian jungles thanks Saz, that was a big one and, no. and, and the reason why they were domesticated was oh, what was it every time the seeds fell from the bamboo they produced lots of eggs when they stopped when there was no food they stopped laying eggs so they realised that if they just force fed them food all the time they'd lay eggs all the time oh. so that's why they were easy to farm what was the thing? Wow, nice. Uh, this is what it feels like every I don't. See, how do you, you like? How do you look, guys like it? Like, I am not doing anything. You're getting no. I'm not like that, am I? You're doing this or in your own. <laughs> Hello, Denny. <laughs> That's Kieran's Miss Lynch impression Hello. when he did his Miss Lynch audition. He went, "Hello, Denny." And then I just ran out, ran, ran away like this. <laughs> Goodness, Marty's a team oh. I'm okay. It was like up and down. guys. <laughs> Friday, that's the show done, and now we need to get a wig off. Hey! Oh, hey! How was your show off? It was, it was great. I did absolutely nothing. Thank you. How was your show? I heard you singing actually when I came down in yeah. my break. Um, you sounded good. Got some oh, 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 Maybe I left it in the change room actually. Oh yeah, baby. You've not really been in the vlog today. Oh, my mum's gonna be so upset. Hi, mum. What's your mum's name? Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Your daughter's fantastic. <laughs> Mum can know what you're watching because she knows the sound of your voice. So she's like, Are you watching Alicia's vlog? When you, when you were voice noting me about um, the microphone, I sat in the lounge watching it and she goes, Is that Alicia? Oh, Nikki, love you. You look quite handsome today, don't you? Thank you. You do? <laughs> it's, the hat. it's the hat. It's giving stalker. It's giving. It's giving. Like when you when you fall in love with like a stalker in a book, do you know what I mean? Where you know you sh you know you shouldn't find it. Yeah. Fucking hell! This is like the third time I've been told this. It's like when when you fancy them, but you know you shouldn't. It's like stop. Love you, Josh. What a legend. Hello, everybody. Just getting ready to go home. I'm really hoping that somebody comes and takes one of my earrings. I feel like I'm waiting for trick or treaters. I'll keep you in the loop. We'll see. Actually, I am going to end this vlog now, but I'll pop in um, whether anybody collected my earrings. I hope you have really enjoyed this one. I feel like we didn't get too much show content today, but I did film a lot in the day. So I hope that sufficed. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like chat to me in the comments make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you next week lots of love